Good morning. Okay, so in this video, I'm going to show you how to do two different things with your knitting. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to show you, <clears throat> if you get to the end of your string and you're not done because you haven't done much to your knitting, then I'm going to show you how to tie it on. So you're going to take your old string and your new string and you're going to put them together just like that. Then you're going to tie a knot with them together. So look, don't do, don't tie it like you tie your shoes, okay? Don't do that, because that can pull apart, and then you have a problem. So I line up the two strings together, the end of your current project, and then the new string you want to add to it. And you can decide in the middle of a project, well, I want to switch colors. So just cut your string, and then add a new color. So line your strings up together, then you're going to tie them together. So I'm just tying them in a knot. And this way, they're not as likely to come apart. Now, you can trim that up a little bit if you want to, if you don't want that to be that long. And it, it will most likely just blend in with your project. And then you can just keep knitting. And you can add as many different colors as you want. Okay, so let's say you're at the end of your project and you're done. So you want to tie it off. Before you do that, I like to put it around my neck if you're going to make it a scarf and just kind of hang it around there and make sure that's the length you want. And if it is, then you're ready to take it off. Okay, so when you get to that point, you're going to cut this string, but don't cut it too short. So give it plenty of string because you can always trim it later. All right, so here's the end of my string. Okay, so I'm going to take this loose string and I'm going to put it, actually, here. So I'm going to take one of these off the straw, put it on the next straw, then I'm going to pull that bottom over the top, okay? Then I'm going to take this string that's left on this one, carefully pull it off. And then put it on the next straw so that I have two there. And then I'm going to pull that bottom loop over the top loop and over the stick. So now I have one left on that one. And then I'm going to take this loop, carefully pull it off. And then I'm going to put it on the next loop. So now, oh, see, I almost lost it. Be careful not to do that. And I'm going to put it back on there. Okay. So now I have two loops on the stick. I'm gonna pull that bottom over the top again. Okay, now I have one loop left. I'm gonna put this carefully on the last stick. So I'm on my last stick, everything else is off. And I'm gonna pull that bottom loop over the top loop very carefully. Okay, so now I am down to one stick. Okay, now I'm gonna take this string and I'm going to loop it through that last loop. So I'm going to pull it through that last loop. And then I can take it off. Okay. So now my scarf is tied off and we're good. Now, you're probably good. But sometimes I've seen people go back. You could tie an extra knot at the end. That might keep it from unraveling. But when you tie that knot, make sure that knot goes right at the end. So you just kind of have to guide it. I don't know if y'all can see this. Just kind of push it down as it's time. Okay. Then I like to just weave this back in so you can't see it. Now, the easiest way to weave it in, if you can't get your fingers quite through it, get you a needle and thread this on the needle, and then you can kind of use the needle. But if you don't have a needle, no big deal. I just kind of stick it through, pull it through a few times. And if you can find a way to put it in the middle, so try to stick some through the middle of, of the scarf. And then, um, then you can trim it off at the end. So just pull it through a few times and then trim the rest. And it's not going to come undone if that comes out. You can just weave it back in. But Okay, so I trimmed it. I pulled it through. I'm just going to kind of tighten that. Now you can't even see where it's at. So now I've got a nice little scarf. 
and you can add extra pieces to it or do another piece like this and wrap them around each other. There are so many things you can do. All right, so I hope that helped. If you're still confused, just go back and rewatch this video. Thank you. Y'all have fun.